one. This is mine. Hey. Are you Josh, the horror guy? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm Josh. Hey, Josh, the horror guy. So, hey, today we were surfing around on a website on YouTube and saw some comments. There's, there's a lot of, we just did a video on some uh, uh, kind of my rant or our rant on on uh, Halloween ends. And some people are really back in this movie. Over the last year, they've kind of changed their mind on it. And, hey, I'm fine with that. Um, but I do, I think it's kind of comical to some 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 extent. I mean, we're all tired of opinions. We don't all like the same food. We don't all like the same movies. Josh and I certainly have disagreed uh, over right. the last year on movies. Uh, yeah, we even disagreed this weekend over a movie. <laughs> yeah, and that's fun. You know, I think that's fun and it's yeah. good. Um, but the one thing I always have said about this movie, um, I said, because like I know some people that like this movie, but they're not Halloween fans. They're like, they don't, they're not into the lore. They haven't seen a lot of them. They don't know, you know, a lot of it. Um, so, okay, I'll give them a pass. The thing that surprises me most from what I read today, Mike, literally just today, is that people that are actually like really diehard Halloween fans, more than me, and probably on par with you, if not more than you, Mike, people that have met tons of the actors from the movies and all this stuff, these people are really high on this movie and i'm like because i've always i've always stood by you're not a true halloween fan if you like this movie but today i've been I, i've seen a different side of the coin here mike these people love this movie and they're halloween fans mike and i'm just surprised yeah i, I am too josh um I, I think let's just go over we got four or five comments here uh, we're not mentioning the website we saw these on or the people because we don't want to, you know, embarrass them. And if you if it, if you were one of the ones that said one of these, hey, put your name in here. Uh, I, I didn't want to embarrass anybody else or or throw shade. I just wanted to read the comments. Uh, first comment says, "Love ends." Uh, well, loved ends. Don't understand the hate, and I'm a big Halloween fan. I'm glad they did something completely different. Okay, so let's take that comment, Mike, because. They said they're glad that they did something completely different. I would have been too if they would have started earlier. Not the last movie in a trilogy. That's a problem that I have. If you would have started this, why not start this at the beginning of Kills? Like put up a story about Corey, kind of guide him through it, and then it may be at the end, kind of like what they do in some Friday the 13th movies or whatever, where you think, okay, maybe this is... You know, maybe this is a different killer or whatever, or kind of like I think what they did in Halloween Six, I think it was Six, um, where they had like a, it was more about a cult, and Michael Myers was kind of like a background character. He was working for this cult. Um, it's like okay, I understand that. That's different. That didn't work. This didn't work either, though, because I think they just did not give it enough time. One movie. And it just it just didn't it didn't have time to breathe. And I'm not sure. I mean, I'm just trying to give the benefit of the doubt that maybe it would have worked with more time to breathe. It definitely didn't work for this one in the last movie of the series. I didn't think it did. So this next person says, I'll just say it, say it anyone who doesn't like Halloween ends. Well, you're entitled to your own opinion. So I'm a love Halloween ends fan. And I love seeing people come around to it. I wonder how many people, Mike, let's say if if we talked to like, I mean, this could be something we could do, Mike, eventually. Maybe at a convention, we could walk around and ask if you liked Halloween ends, Mike. That would be good. What do you think? That would about be that? fun because there's a convention coming up we could ask, ask, ask that question on. Yes, I think that'd be good. And then maybe we're in the minority, Mike. Who knows? We might be in the minority once we thought we were in not. We but, could try to um, say, hey, we're going to ask 100 people at a horror convention how many people liked Halloween ends, right. and it's either yes or no, and then we could do the percentage of of yeah. what it was. Right. right. Um, so, like I said, I mean, I, I, like I said, we might be wrong. I don't think we are, but I, I, I think we, you know, so I would, I would, I would see that. I would put it up to see if what people in the horror community, because those people that go into those are usually... Can you, can we need to go back horror. and look at our original review of this a year ago and see what the Rotten Tomato score was originally a year ago. 
yeah. and then see what it is now, see if that score has went up. Because we we brought that up over a year ago, and I, I think today when I saw it, it was a 56 or 57. So it's getting up closer to 60, but um, I can't remember what it was originally. That That's, that's from the fans. That's from the fans. Yeah, the critics were harsh on this one, I think. Yeah. All right, so the, the other comment I got here says, um, I like how people's main criticism with ends is the lack of Michael Myers. But he roughly has the same amount of screen times he did in the original, laughing my ass off. <laughs> so I kind of said this in the other video. This is a two-hour movie with um, 10 minutes and 55 seconds, 11 minutes. Right. Uh, uh, the original Rob Zombie, I think it was the first Rob Zombie movie, he was in there 32 minutes, the most of any Halloween movie. Um, this movie, he was in here... Uh, I mean, the original Halloween, he was in like nine minutes and 35 seconds. The difference in the two is in the original, there is a lot of time that is spent in a point of view look, which right. is not included in that nine minutes and 30 some seconds. Right. Plus, where they'd only be in 90 minutes, the, the story of Michael Myers was always from the very beginning when he stabbed his sister till the very end, it was about him the whole time. It wasn't a love story between Allison and Corey and not thinking about Michael Myers for a big part of the time. You know what I mean? So well, that's my big, big opposite of that one. Also, well, also, I think a good point you could make was in the original movie compared to this one, yes, more screen time than the original. But in the original, he wasn't made to look weak. Right. And lesser than in that movie. This yeah. movie, in Halloween Ends... He was. Yep. All and right. Then the so call, and the got, last thing. Mike, I want to say one thing. People that might say, oh, well, he got beat up really bad. Well, if his if, if his thing was to get more powerful when he kills, your whole theory's out the window. Yep. Because he, he whipped 20, 25 people's butt, butts at the tail end of that after after taking a massive beating. Um, so the last verse says, Halloween's Ends is the best movie of the trilogy. They just mismarketed it. And like, I don't see that one. So, if you remember, Mike, I, I, I'm having a hard time remembering the trailer. I remembering it being okay. I think I was a little... The trailer was a huge buildup of the fight at the end. Oh, when yeah. I saw that trailer, that's why I was so excited about it. I was like, damn, they're going to be battling it out for an hour, You know, at least an hour of this movie. They're going to just be going at it. The old school, going up and down the stairs, chasing them through the house. Kind of a revisit to the original and then finally, in my opinion, I thought Laurie Strode would finally crush him and kill him at the end, which so, is what happened in this. Right. So Halloween, um, so in Halloween Kills, we didn't get to see Laurie versus Michael Myers because she was in the hospital and stuff. The we didn't get to movie. see that. Right. The whole movie. So it's kind of like Halloween 2 in a way, really, the old mm -hmm. Halloween 2. So um, we didn't get to see that. But in this movie, we like you said, I don't remember. Was Corey in the trailer? I don't even remember, dude. I can't remember. But like when this turned out to be this, I remember I was like, who in the hell is this guy? Like, who is it? Like, why am I watching a movie about this guy? Right. Um, he, he did have a couple of solid kills. I will give him that. The blowtorch to the mouth. That was awesome. Um, but, you know, it just, yeah. I, I mean, I've heard people, I've heard people try to defend the movie and say, well, Corey had the mask on. It's really just the same as Michael Myers. No, it's not. It's not the same. I know he had the same mask on, but you knew in the story that that was Corey. Well, but if they would have, if they, listen, if they would have went about it, if they would have had Corey kill Michael Myers, which pretty probably would have made people upset because they wanted, you know, Lori to do it. But if they had Corey somehow kill Michael Myers and take over the reins, I would have been way more accepting to that than what they did in this movie. That's just me. Or what if, what if you know, it's it's known that Jamie Lee, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis doesn't want to do anymore. No. And um, and and James Jude Courtney said that you know he's sixty five years old. He he said this was it for him too. I mean, Corey could have killed them both off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess the fans would want Lori to. Some of them are trying to even say, and I don't know if this is true or not. Some are even saying that Jamie Lee Curtis and, and behind the scenes was was like, "Hey, this is this is Lori's final, you know, final show here. So let's have her just whip his tail." 
I thought in the final fight scene, I like it being in the kitchen and how dark it was and stuff. I just don't think Michael Myers got enough shots in. I mean, I, right. I thought he should have. It sh- she, Lori should have been injured more or something else. It just, right. it just was one sided, mostly in my opinion. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I think, and I, I mean, the marketing. I mean, he says something about the marketing. I don't remember the marketing being bad, honestly, or being wrong. Um, well, I mean, I guess they're saying that the marketing was wrong because they didn't tell us that it was actually something different than it really right. was. So in that point, I guess they're right. It was so the question is, Josh, are we looking at this? I mean, I'll be dead and gone. You know, a lot of people love Halloween 3. Yeah. It had Michael Myers in the commercials on the TV. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of the original Halloween 3. Some people love it. I know you I love Dead right. Meat. Dead, Dead Meat loves it. Um, right. Will people look back at this movie 30, 40 years from now and say, man, that was great. It was way ahead of its time. And I just don't see that. But then... 30, 40, 40 years ago, they probably didn't say that about Halloween 3 either. Right. So, yeah, I mean, maybe, dude. Maybe there could be an appreciation for it someday. I did read today, I was going to tell you, John Carpenter came out and said I've, on the David Gordon Green trilogy, his favorite, can you guess what one of his, his favorite, Mike? I would say he had thought 2018 was his favorite. Nope. Halloween Kills is his favorite. Okay. I think he likes how Michael Myers portrayed in that movie. Like, unstoppable, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, you never know, man. I mean, personally, out of the three, I think Halloween... I think 2018 is really good, has a strong ending. I think Kills has, like, better kills in it and stuff um, with a lot of nonsense. Um, and then this one just went off the wind. But I do kind of agree with that statement that it was marketed wrong because, Mike, how if they would have came out and said, hey... This is about somebody else for 40 minutes. What would you would have said? You would at least been prepared. Watching. I'm not watching it. <laughs> at least all right, tell us, tell us what y'all think. Uh, do you have a strong opinion on this either way? Let us know. Um, if you were one of those that, that said this, please put your name in there if you want to defend it. We love a good debate. It's nothing personal, nothing hard, uh, nothing long-term upset with anybody and uh right. you know we're not gonna call you names or anything but please don't call us names but uh, tell us what you think down below in the comments all right have a good one josh yep see you now bye